And then the guy says, what do you think this is? A car factory? <laughs> oh God, it was a good one. Ramen balls, square ramen balls. Here we go. Here we go. Get it, babe. All right, yeah. Get that sour sugar mushrooms in there and the egg. Oh. If you've ever wondered what happens when you burn none and you make it too hard and crispy, that's what happens. Still tastes good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys something kind of funny that, that I found today um, while searching for restaurants on a Google app. I'll show it to you in a second so you can see what it looks like. It looks like this. But yeah, I wanted to show you guys something that I saw today. It was pretty funny. I was cracking up at it. Um, <laughs> it's more of like a, it's like a, probably like a technical issue than anything. All right, so like this place right here, it's just like a random joint for like crab. The Zagat Reviews. Zagat, the street fighter guy, he became a food crit. Um, this is what it says. This is how it's quoted, okay? It's a review. <laughs> this is the beginning of the quote. If you're craving fresh shellfish, that's the end, this hectic, high energy, wheeling landmark is the place, <laughs> says fans of its huge selection of food, including out of this world, crab plus deliciously lethal garlic rolls and famous and famous Mai Tais the huge warehouse like I still don't get why they have to do that and they have to put quotations on simple words like the word huge why do they do that it makes no sense I'll... but anyway I just kind of noticed that I figured I'd put it out so you guys can check it out if you see that Zagat, Street Fighter, all those kicks to the head, all those da -da 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 to the head made them start having Back to you. She's ready for the move. She's just sleeping in the box meantime. Oh. <laughs> so basically we're trying to get as much laundry as we can done today. Um, trying to get it done now. So we don't have to worry about it too much tomorrow after we move. So it'll just be a load off our minds and our butts. Just why not butts, right? Butts are fun. So I don't know about you guys, but I really don't mind moving. Like even the packing and moving stuff, I find it exciting because yeah, I mean, it's well, I find it kind of exciting because you're going somewhere new, you're trying, you know, new arrangements for your place, for your, you know, your bedroom, your living room. You're you're trying to organize things differently. You can have a completely different setup, a new view of whatever you know, what's ever outside your window. Things like that, I think, are exciting. You know, if it's especially if it's like a new city that you've never been to, or that you've wanted to move to, and you know, you're just not getting a chance to go. It's exciting. I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but I, I don't mind moving. We've moved a lot. I've moved a lot too in the past, geez, five, six years, something like that. I've moved a lot, you know, between St. Louis and Cleveland and Chicago now. My wife has moved too. I, ideally, we'd like to settle down somewhere. We don't know where it's going to be for sure yet, but, you know, so far we're having fun just moving around and trying new places out. Kind of like a nomad lifestyle, sort of, but not as danger inducing I guess I don't know I don't mind but I, I do know for a fact that some people detest detest moving and that's fine you know it's, it's your opinion man 
I think it depends. If you have a lot of junk that you have to that you have to move, like if you have like a lot of stuff, a lot of property, a lot of I don't know, a lot of toys, but kind of stuff, yeah, it can be kind of a nuisance, I'm sure, to move. It's just to get it all organized and to pack it up. But if you don't have that much stuff, if you're gonna be moving a lot, don't get that much stuff. Keep everything low, minimal. Otherwise, then yeah, it becomes like a nuisance, I guess, but I don't know, if everything's very simple and you keep most of the things that you need and that's it, it's no big deal. I don't know, it's just my opinion of it. I'm trying to stay positive.